Well, one big issue with Obamacare is Americans are losing their current insurance coverage. We reported that thousands of people are getting cancellation notices because their plans don't conform to some of the new rules and regulations. Now, the White House will take issue with saying that they're losing their coverage and would rather say they're being moved to better plans. The editorial board of the Wall Street Journal put out a scathing editorial this week suggesting Americans are losing their coverage by political design. And here was the accusation saying, quote, for all of the Affordable Care Act's technical problems, at least one part is working on schedule. The law is systematically dismantling the individual insurance market as its architects intended from the start. A uh, heavy accusation there. Joseph Rago is an editorial board member of the Wall Street Journal, helped write this piece. And this is something, Joe, that a lot of our viewers will hear about in, and have heard about in editorials over the last week or so. This is by design. This is for a single-payer health care system. Why do you believe that? Well, look, I, I don't think it's uh, necessarily for a single-payer health care system, but the, you've got the president coming out, leading Democrats coming out and saying, of course we were trying to do this. These are substandard policies. These are, uh, this is terrible coverage, and people are getting transitioned uh, to a better policy. So I think you even have uh, liberals coming out and saying, well, of course, this is what we intended all along. Is that a bad thing? I mean, if the policies do have, provide better coverage than the ones that consumers were opting for, it, you know, liberals would say that that's, that is good. That's great for the consumer. Well, look, what you have in the individual market today is a very wide variety of choices. A lot of uh, different prices, different levels of benefits, and people are choosing the level uh, that meets their own needs and preferences. What you have is HHS and the administration coming in here and s reviewing their choices and finding them wanting, saying you need to move to more expensive coverage, more comprehensive uh, uh, benefits. And you know, if, if this weren't intentional, what they could say is, well, uh, you know, you've you've made your choice. Now we're offering you a better policy. We're giving you subsidies for it. You can you can take that or you can leave it. They're not doing that. They're systematically wiping out this market so because what, it doesn't conform to, to, the, to their goals. So ultimately, what do you think is the goal? I think the goal is to stuff as many people into the exchanges as possible, get them off the ground. As the president said this week, grind it out. They, they need these people in the exchanges to finance it uh, and, and for reasons of, of political control. As far as the, the GOP side of this is all, the, the, the critics of the Obamacare website, conservative or not, or the Obamacare system overall, the solution thus far has been to repeal the law. That has not worked. We've, we've seen that several times. Do you think the GOP needs to offer a solution at this point? When should the GOP step in and say, this is what we're seeing, this is how we can improve it, or here's a solution to the health care that maybe isn't repealing the law but doing something else? Right. I mean, I think they should have been doing that years ago. They, they really haven't put, put out uh, uh, a genuine reform alternative, but this is a great moment for them to do it. Uh, here's all kinds of people losing, losing their choices, losing uh, the freedom to select their own coverage, and reforms that actually increase choice, actually increase competition. People might be more receptive to those now that they're seeing the result of the regulations that Republicans oppose. Just real quick, Joe, could you give us an example of one of those things? Would it be that you could shop in different exchanges in different states, for example? What would, what would a potential reform even look like at this point? Right. I think right now reform is looking more like a a deregulatory project where you, where you increase choices and in competition. Uh, I think you need to provide a universal tax credit flat uh, to to all consumers, so so they have a, a choices outside of their workplace, for for example. Uh, but but right now it's 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 really moving away from third party payer. Uh, to, to more uh, individual choice. We're going to get more into that because, again, there's, a, there's a, a little bit of a discrepancy, maybe not even a little bit, between the individual market and the market that you can shop for when you, or you can't shop for when you get your health care through your, your employer. And so the difference in that is, is important, and we're going to tackle that with our panel that you're going to join uh, coming up, Joe. Thank you very much. Great to see you today. We'll see you in a few minutes as well Thanks with our viewers' me. questions.